my title bitch everyone you want to call me and today i have a movie review for you guys on the movie pimp starring kiki palmer the crazy thing about this movie is that it made it to theaters but it wasn't in theaters too long but still like it was that good that it made it to theaters um so if y'all seen this movie really tell me how y'all feel about it down below in the comments and make sure y'all thumbs up and like this video you know, go ahead and subscribe too. You know, if you're doing all of that, just go ahead. Click the little red subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get into this review. Um, If you have not seen this movie, don't watch my review. Y'all know I get to talking. I spill the tea. People get mad. You know? So that's just a heads up. Now, um, this movie was based on this girl and she was following the steps of her father. So, of course, Kiki was the main actress. And her father actually was um, DMX. And at first I was like, is, is that DMX? And I heard his voice and I was like, yep, that's him. Um, I forgot the actress that played her mom. But basically, her dad was a pimp. Um, her mom was one of his girls until she ended up getting pregnant. So he took her off the corner or whatever and was like, nah, like you got my kid. Like you my main main now. I ain't about to let nobody touch you, whatever. And then Wednesday, which was the little girl name, she grew up. And then it really started, like, right there. So, at the beginning, it's kind of like Stump the Yard. How Chris Brown was only in there for, like, five minutes before he died. DMX was only in this movie for about ten minutes before he died. Um, He died of an overdose. And that was pretty sad. And then it fast forward to years later. So basically, Wednesday turned out to be a pimp just like him. Just like him. And um, she had a girlfriend. And at the beginning of the movie, it shows this little white girl that she likes. Like, she likes her. Why? She, they're both little girls, you know. And she already likes her. Well, she loves her. Flash to the present. And the girl is her girlfriend. And she doesn't want her girlfriend to be one of her hoes. But it ends up becoming like that um, because they they not get enough money with the girls that they have. So with this movie, the first, 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 even though I've already said so much. The first, 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 first thing that I want to talk about is... I felt like with um pimp let me open this one. There we go. I felt like it was some missing holes in the movie because as soon as Wednesday let Nikki turn into one of her um her holes and bring in the money, it's just like you know, they got money, got the money, got the money. But they weren't getting enough. So then Wednesday went out to look for another girl. And the other girl, she was pretty or whatever. And she started getting money. But my, my, she started getting money for them. But my thing about it is, Wednesday started falling in love with a girl. And just started brushing her girlfriend off. Like on one part, when in the car, and Nikki was sitting in the front. Oh, girl got mad and told my son she need to figure out, like, she need to know who's the boss and all that. And then Wednesday made Nikki get in the back. In the back. And Nikki got in the back. But I don't think Nikki really realized what was going on as to why she was in the back seat. Because let me tell you something. If my man, um, driving this truck, I'm gonna be in this front seat. You gonna be in the back. <laughs> like, the... You're not finna sit in the front. You you about to be in the back. I, I, I didn't I did, like that part made me mad. The things that Wednesday was doing, she was really letting the money get to her head, and I kind of understood why, cause she wanted to get away. But where she messed up at was she fell in love with one of her hoes. But you had a whole girlfriend that you loved since you were little. That's one thing. Um, the movie did have me, it had me laughing at some parts that I wasn't really supposed to be laughing at. <laughs> I can say that much. I was, it was, to me, it was a good movie. Um, it just had some missing spots, like, the girl that became, like, the man girl. She had another pimp, 
Like, why was he so, like, he would get mad and he would, like, do one of the little, bo like, little boxing moves. Like, why was he doing that? Was he a boxer back in the day? Like, where did his storyline really fit? Like, I know he was the pimp of the other girl, but, like, why is it that, you know, the story kind of shifted to him a little bit? Like, where did he really, 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 like, why was he in the movie? Why was he such, so big of a pimp? Like, that would have been so lit if they would have had a whole background story on him or even the girl. I think her name was Destiny. Maybe it wasn't Destiny. But they need to have a backstory on her. How did she get into the life? And it would have been such a um, more dope movie. Hood movie. I'm going to call it a hood movie because I feel like that's what it was. Um, The part about the mom, her mom, saying that she didn't love Wednesday. I was just like, but I'm just kind of confused. Like, what you mean? Like, you didn't love your own child. Is it because you love the crack more? Because her mom was on drugs. She kept having to bail her mama out. That's what made me mad. And then, but the last time, like, she was like, Mom, do you love me? And her mom was like, no. She left her in there. Okay, you don't really love me, but you keep hurting yourself. So what I'm going to do is, I ain't bailing you out. You know, ain't nobody else going to bail you out. You don't stay in jail. I feel like she did the right thing for that. Um, The shootout at the end was kind of dramatic because I'm just trying to figure out, like, one, how did they know where Wednesday and them were? I just really want to know, I really want to know, like, did he put a tracking device on something? Like, they just came around the corner out of nowhere and start shooting. And you mean to tell me everybody making these shots, but ain't none hitting the other pimp? And then it was just, I don't know, the shootout was really dramatic. Um, I think Wednesday got shot in her chest or something like that, and then Nikki got shot in her stomach. Nikki driving, and then Kiki in the passenger seat, they both bleeding out. But the thing I liked about the end is that they both died together. I know that's kind of like the, the weird thing to like. But it was just like, y'all kind of started this this journey together and now y'all are dying together. Even though I didn't, I didn't want them to die. But I don't know. Um, I kind of get where like what meant the type of message that was coming from the movie. But they could have did way better. Like, I feel like if I could write a book, like, about that movie and add the parts that were missing, that'd be so lit. So, if y'all watching this, y'all directed, pimp or whatever, y'all want me to write a book, let me know. We can talk business. But, um, trying to see what else. It was just like you kind of knew what was going to happen but then again it was like these twists and turns that were in there too um i thought her mom was going to go in her room or something and like steal her money but she did not really thought because it's like movies like that something like that always happens somebody that's on drugs come and steal somebody else's money then that's a whole big thing um i'm trying to figure out what else i can say about this movie the graphics could have been much better like the way when they were shooting it was the blood it was, and I could tell the budget wasn't that high for this movie but again it made it to theater so I don't know but let me know if y'all watch this movie tell really like seriously tell me what y'all really think about this movie it was good I'll watch it again it wouldn't be like ooh, ooh, let's watch pimp today let's watch pimp today it wouldn't be one of those Oh, I just thought about something. The first time Nikki had one out and did her thing or whatever, brought back all that money, and then they had sex, what really bothered me was baby girl just got done, you feel me, with all these customers. Mouth, her prize possession, you feel me, all, you know, dirty and stuff. And they sat there and had sex, and I'm just like, whoa. You know, yeah. She had all these customers and they did all this, this, no, these things and y'all gonna have sex. Like, I felt like that was just so unsanitary, but then I had to, re I had to remember that it was a movie. Wasn't nobody really thinking about that. Cause let me tell you something. If I was writing a book, 
my characters will be, baby, we gon' you. You gotta take a shower, brush your teeth, get yourself together before y'all do anything, cause that's nasty. <laughs> but that's like, that's the last thing I want to say about that movie. Um, so yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.